the one thing you should never do in your 20s. Last week, I was invited to speak with a group of mostly young people. Speaking with these people and talking with some of them after the event, I could perceive great confusion in the minds of most of these people. But you know what? That's 100% fine. Being confused is just a normal thing in your 20s because you just became an adult a few years and you're looking for ways to create your desired life. Such ways are usually not clear and that's why all of us are confused in our early 20s. But there's one other thing most people do, which is actually destructive and that's what I want to discuss with you in this video. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Let's get into it. As I said earlier, being confused in our early 20s is perfectly fine. Just as every newborn baby cries because she cannot understand the new world around her, every new adult is confused because they are yet to understand how to navigate and create their own lives. However, more than confused, most people in their 20s complain. Complaint is the worst thing people do in their 20s. Most young people complain about the government, the economy, their parents, even the weather. This is a destructive habit. As I told the young people I spoke with, you see, in your 20s, you have the world right in your palm. You can literally pursue anything and you'll overtake it because you're strong and powerful. You have the bones, brain and time. You're not just independent now you are also free. Let me explain this to you. As a teenager, you have your parents always on your neck. They want to protect you so they don't give you as much freedom as you want. From your mid-30s, you probably will have a spouse and probably a few kids. Again, this restricts you from being able to do anything you want. The world in between these two restrictions is your 20s and that's why those years are so important. Most young people complain because they don't know what they have. In years from now, when you become 50 or 60, you look back at your 20s and wonder how much you wasted those precious years. For this not to happen to you, you have to stop complaining. Now, let me tell you some reasons why you should stop complaining. 1. Things hardly change, at least not for those who complain. Let's take the economy for instance. 70 years ago, our grandfathers were complaining that life was hard because many of them were poor. Most of them thought that by complaining hard enough, they could change things. But here we are today. More than two-thirds of the world's population are still poor. If you think that by sitting down with your friends and complaining about the economy, you can change anything, you are a dreamer because it won't happen. From the beginning of the modern world, there have always been the poor and the rich until the end of our existence there will always be a world where most people are poor and only a few are rich. You complaining about the economy won't change anything. 2. Political leaders don't solve personal problems Many young people waste enormous time complaining about the political leaders. Well, it's a waste of time because most of these people only do good jobs by talking about our problem. As Ronald Reagan, the former US president said, the government doesn't solve problems, it only talks about it. The government of your country can provide all the social amenities, security and even jobs. This still won't solve your money problem or any of your personal problems for that matter. Why waste your time complaining about the political leaders who don't even know you exist anywhere? 3. Problems are money There are two kinds of people in the world those who complain about problems and those who fight hard to solve problems. Steve Jobs was in his 20s when he started seeing a world where everyone owns a PC. Bill Gates was in his 20s when he founded Microsoft. Mark Zuckerberg was 19 when he founded the Facebook to connect the whole world. Each of these people and thousands like them used their 20s to solve problems, not complaining about them. Which group do you belong? The group that solve problems or the one that complains about them. 4. You are the most important person in the world Now, let me explain this. You see, at any given time in the world, there are usually four generations. 
if we all agree that a generation is 22 years. But two of these generations don't have the power to change the world. We have generation 1 as people between age 0 to 22. Generation 2 are people between ages 23 to 44. Generation 3 is people between ages 45 to 66. While generation 4 are people between age 67 to 88. People in their teenage years are obviously not able to influence the world and people in their 60s can't do it either. Most people who have the power to change the world are people between ages 20 to 40. These are most important people in the world and that's where you belong and that's the reason why you should not complain about anything. You have the bones, you have the brain. Get out and fight for your dreams. 5. Your parents owe you nothing one of the things most young people complain about is about their parents or relatives. I'm sorry, these people owe you nothing. You're an adult and whatever you think was wrong in your past, it is now your responsibility to make it right. Whoever you think should help you now doesn't matter. You own it to yourself to go out and negotiate your way through life. Nothing will come to you on a platter of gold no more. If your parents don't help you, Figure out how to labor to get what you want. If your uncle don't help you, get out and fight for whatever you think you desire. It's your life and you are responsible. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. In conclusion, complaint is probably the worst thing anybody can be busy doing in their 20s. Complaining in your 20s is like dancing on the battlefield. That's not what you want to do. You want to go for your dreams and achieve them. That's the only thing that matters. Remember, eventually, your life is your life and you're the only person who truly cares about it. The government doesn't care. Your parents may not care and nobody does. Define what you want out of life and go out to get it, no matter how difficult that is. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.